hello, hello. God bless, God bless. My name is Joani. I'm a prophet of God through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right. Uh, forgive if you hear my vehicle. I am driving. And I do have a message for you. And this is a message for a chosen one. Most chances is you have not heard this before and it's about moving. All right. It came to pass. So I'm here to deliver. If God is telling you to move. All right. If God is telling you that it's time to pack up and go. All right. There's different types of ways that God tells you this. Sometimes I'm like, God, is this, is this like a, you know, is this a temporary move or is this like an official move, right? Where you get like a U-Haul box and that's it. Every, everything you have is, is going with you. For me, this was grab all of your stuff. This is not the type of, this is, this is not a temporary move. This is a, uh, this is a, a final move. And why is that? Initially, God said, wherever you are, this place is under judgment. And here's the thing, like the wrath of God and like mother nature, like sometimes I'm like, mm, is this place under judgment like in the spirit or like, like for real, for real, like weather and all types of calamities that, that God wants to bring upon this specific place. And for me, it was, it was weather. It was like real, like this, this whole state is under judgment. God said, leave. And I was like, oh, I need more confirmation than that. Cause I'm getting comfortable. Like, no, I, I'm just starting to find my sweet spot here. And as I went to sleep, literally the thunder, almost like my, my window was shaking from the amount of storm. And here's the thing, God doesn't want you caught up in the storm. Amen? Amen. So, when it, it's so crazy because I got like the final word. That if you don't leave, you're about to be caught in a storm. And I'm like, a spiritual storm, a physical storm, like which one is it? It's up to you to go to God and figure out what that is. But, I could tell you that it came to pass for me and it was a physical storm. Because of the sins of, of this whole place. This place is just full of sin. And God doesn't want you there. God does not want you to receive his wrath. Sometimes that might be like your indicator. I need to say this right now. It wasn't in the notes, but to take a trip, right? To like let loose. And you're like, no, God, I have so much momentum. No, God, things are stable. No, God, I have financial goals. No, God, I like God has a different plan for you. Do you understand that on that trip, you're going to meet someone very special? Do you understand that that God is not trying to slow you down? You, you got to understand that, that God has... God is trying to propel you in a way that like you don't even understand blessed amen look at that's the word right there God is trying to bless you in a way that that's going to like it's gonna it's gonna project you like catapult that's what I want to say catapult you it's gonna catapult you in such a way that like oh wow this business partner me business with this person was is fire like it, it just took off I don't know what that is for you regardless back to the word judgment there's a place that's under judgment now when i packed up my stuff and i left immediately as i crossed the border oh wow oh wow thank you lord confirmation as i as i crossed the border sunshine complete sunshine completely out of the eye of the storm um and that that was my confirmation that you weren't supposed to go there or like you went there and you did what you were supposed to do. And that's the thing about being a prophet. That's the thing about being chosen. Sometimes you've had your season there and that's it. That's it. I, I can specifically say that about Maryland. Maryland, I had a great prosperous like what? Seven, seven, eight years. I made a lot of money there. I, I prospered my career. I, I invested in myself. And then there was a, a dry spell everywhere i went was not um it was not as fruitful right like it had its season that's okay that's okay now when you cross over amen to the border or to the place that god has for you you're going to be fruitful again all right it's, it's just one of those things that you have to discern if this is for you or, or not okay but that was my word there's a specific place that's under judgment um you need to leave 
I was like, what? No. And, and here's the other thing, too. At first, it was like, you need to move. I, God doesn't even care if it's down the street. Why? Where you're staying right now or there's someone around you who's a sinner. You have no idea who this... Like, you, you this person's around you, but you have no idea, like, who they are, what they do. But they're in some serious sin. And I, I don't take that lightly. Especially when you're chosen by God and you know that you have God's favor and you're anointed. You got to understand the devil is going to use any opportunity anyone who is in sin around you this is exactly why yes you must entertain you know like careful you entertaining people you might entertain an angel but specifically when you're chosen and you have god's favor and you're anointed and like you anoint yourself with oil and like you know you know that you you wholeheartedly follow god the devil is going to use anything he can anything around you and you already know this he's going to use number one your loved ones uh, your friends, your childhood friends. He's going to use uh, randos who are uh, specifically against the word of God. He's going to use uh, people in the system. He's going to use anyone that he can until he cannot use anyone anymore. Until you stop that serpent out. Hallelujah. So understand that if God is telling you there's someone around you who is a sinner. And it's time for you to go. And I'm like, I'm comfortable here. Like this is affordable. I have met some great friends. There's no way. So I sat outside with a friend and I said, hey, I need to tell you something. And here's the thing. This friend is a sinner. This friend is a complete sinner, but they know that I'm a prophet of God. Like they, they receive that 100%. They, they, they would not even dare to, to, hey, whatever your spirit says, like whatever the Holy Spirit says through you is like, that's how it's supposed to be. That's 100% how it's supposed to be. So I just told him, I said, hey, God said, God said. Holy Spirit said that we need to get the fuck out of here ASAP and she started bawling her eyes out I heard the same thing I thought I was going crazy my angels told me the same thing and I said yeah where there's there's someone in this house who's in sin and you know I just sit on my computer like I'm <laughs> I'm I'm a introvert I don't I mind my own business you know like I have enough on my plate you know I'm, I'm pushing around commas I'm studying I'm making courses like I don't have time to, but here's the thing there's someone around you it's not you specifically there's someone around you who's in sin and i said hey god said that uh potentially and here's what it was it was like you need to go you need to go and i i kept no i'm not going no i'm fighting for my my territory no i'm fighting for my place like no i, I i've done enough if you don't get the fuck out of there understand that someone's gonna break into that home not because of you because of someone around you and guess what you're going to be caught in that storm and that's when the judgment word came again you're going to be caught in something that you don't want nothing to do you want nothing to do with and here's the thing right the lord said it Ten thousand shall fall at my right hand Ten thousand shall fall at my, at my left but nothing shall come near nigh you, you think when someone comes with a pistol right and you're, you're praying to god and they might have taken out someone next to you god doesn't give a fuck are you okay you lived. You're still breathing. You're fine. You got a little scratch on you. You have to understand that's that's what that really is. What God is like. If you don't take, if you don't take heed to the warning. So I told, you know, I told my my friend this, and she just started bawling her eyes out. She's like, I know, you're a hundred percent confirming to me exactly what I feel, what what my angel said. You, the, the, so we both. I said, hey, here's some money. All right, you can go. Like I, I don't want you to be stuck here. And she couldn't afford to get out so I, I paid you know hey, here's a little something it's not much but here and then I, I left too and then another word came to pass another word came to pass good now that you got out of that area specifically you have to understand now God's judgment is coming what God's judgment is coming and do you really want to be caught up in that storm no um, no, nah, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe it's just, uh, you know, maybe, maybe it's just, I don't know, God will show it to me. It wasn't until I swear my whole window was shaking to the point of like thunder and lightning, just this, this crazy storm coming through. God said, that's not even, that's not even the half of it. That's what's about to come. And you're about to be caught up in this. And you have no idea, you know how much damage it's going to cause it's going to cause a lot of damage and guess what when you're fruitful 
when you're fruitful there's going to be people around you after that calamity after that storm they're going to look to you to who to you to say help me i just got hit by a storm i need help and you being the christian that you are and god you're right now you're still you, you have what did i say you have goals god i have god my financial goals god my my business goals god my you know my stability goals god God is your stability. God is your rock. God is your provider. God is blah, blah, blah. Amen. Listen to God. All right. Most chances is your. This is for someone who is chosen. Most chances is this is not your first time hearing it. Most chances is is that. Let me let me talk about like the spiritual moving, or like the spiritual judgment. Sometimes when God tells you to keep your mouth shut. Is because there's someone around you who's about to receive the uh, judgment from God. They're about to receive like, uh, you know, sometimes people want to throw someone else under the bus so bad. So it happened to me. So bad. They want to throw Joani under the bus so bad. What is so bad about Joani? Nothing. Hallelujah. Nothing. Nothing. I don't care what you do with your pussy. I don't care what you do if you drink and smoke. It's not me. I don't care. And most chances is you're not even hurting anyone. So who cares? I don't care. But you have to understand there's people out there. There's people who are who are sinners around you. This is, and I never understood this. And I, I'm going to say this like from your testimony. But I'm going to leave names out. People who sell drugs. Right? They're paranoid. They're about to get caught. It wasn't a big deal. Like you're not selling me drugs. <laughs> I ain't getting up. I'm not getting a portion of what you're selling. I don't care. Now all of a sudden they need to throw someone else under the bus because see that's a sin. That's a sinner. They're they're operating under under covert ways, right? Like underground or trying to to be sneaky and not get caught. So understand that that when they there's some kind of paranoia there that when it comes to pass and they're under heat. You know, maybe they fucked up. Maybe they owe someone money. They're gonna they're gonna feel better about themselves. Like that spirit's gonna panic and it's gonna come after you. Um what else? Here here's another example. Maybe not so much that, but maybe someone who um someone who has uh offenses against them, right? Someone who has issues against like they're they, they made bad life decisions. I need to say that. Someone who made bad life decisions and he, here's the truth. When you're a saint and you and you walk in your Ten Commandments and in God's ways, right? Like, I went to school. I'm doing my part. I joined the military. You know, I, I'm trying to do the best for my family. I, we're not we're not here to cause trouble. We're here to turn up and have some fun, right? Like, all right, cool. Like, if I got to move my car, like, I don't want no smoke. Like, you know, just basic, petty, stupid, like, life, life things. And someone who has made bad decisions time and time and time again, and they see you. They see you prospering. They see you so happy. They see that you don't have a care in the world. Well, yeah, I follow the rules. Why would I have a care in the world? How, how is that my problem that you're a fuck up? It's not. So you, you really have to understand that that's an opportunity for someone around you who is sinful. All right. To say, you know what? I don't have the money or I'm bad with my money or so this happened to me. And they're going to use you because you're fruitful. Amen. And they're going to think that it's going to get the heat off of them or that God's going to, you know, here's the thing. It doesn't minimize their problems either. Like trying to, to gaslight or inflame you. And it, it doesn't matter because it, it could be a lie. It could be a lie. And here, here's the thing. Sometimes people love to take on your problems to say, oh my gosh, I'm suffering because I want to say this. Like uh, they make it, I, my, I'll say it, my own mom. Oh my God, Joanne, this happened to Joanne and, and it's part of the family and it's killing me and it's hurting me. Bitch, you put me here. Bitch, you lied on me. I need to say that. It's like some, it's something like that where someone's so willing. Someone is so sinful. They made so many bad decisions their whole life. They're so willing to throw you under the bus. Thinking that it's going to have like leverage or pity for them. Oh, I'm not well right now. Oh, I can't make this payment because, you know, this happened to yada, yada, yada. They put you in that position. That's how dangerous it is to be around sinful people. That's how uh, God is saying that his judgment is coming to pass in Jesus' name. Amen. So there's certain people that you need to get away from. And I mean sinful people. And I didn't even know that 
that someone in the house is like a a dancer, like a stripper. And to me, that's okay. Fuck it. Good job. You're getting your money. I could care less. It's not my problem. You know, that's a route you chose, and I hope God gives you a way out if you really want it. And if you if you think that that's gonna, you know, you want to be an entertainer, I don't care. But God says that He does care. You see, you see how humble my spirit is. I don't care, but God says my spirit cares. I know to you, Joanny. I know, chosen one, that your heart is so soft. Your heart is so pure. I know you forgive everyone. I know in this sinful world, but you need to understand that Satan right now is on the move, and something bigger is about to happen. And guess what? You're so righteous. You're so fruitful. You don't think they want to come after you? You don't think the first person that they're going to point fingers at to say, you know what? It's okay. I'm going to throw this person under the bus because at the end of the day, they might even just still be okay. That's what? That's a, that's a favor of St. Paul right there. Hallelujah. St. Paul. He's a prisoner on the ship. The ship is about to sink. Even though he's shackled, the Roman soldiers did what? No, we're going to cling to the man of God. We're going to cling to him because God's not... As long as this man, as long as this man is in this boat, and as long as we are tethered to him, God's not going to let anything happen to that man. Do you understand the favor that you carry? So you have to understand that when God says it's time to go, chosen one, it's time to go. It's not a game. It's not a joke. You're not hearing things. Your spirit will tell you too. It'll be this eerie feeling. It'll be this that like, it's so heavy. What the fuck is wrong with the energy here? It doesn't matter if you move down the street. Like I said, I had to... Once I, I, I crossed the border... Complete sunshine. Complete rainbows. At the same time, if this is like a family unit... You're, you're like the goody two-shoe of the family. I need to say that. You're the goody two-shoe of the family. What makes you think... What makes you think they wouldn't throw you under the bus not for one fucking second? How many times are you going to have to get it? Stay away from the sinners. Yeah, when you're out and about, everyone's going to sin. Yeah, when you're out and about, but I'm talking about in your personal life. In your everyday life. I'm talking about, um, you know, it, it's one thing for you to be out, out and about out and about and like you go to the mall and or you go out to eat and you're at bar side and someone sits you know maybe two seats away from you and they want to talk or that's one thing right that was it uh, that was an encounter amen but we're talking about people who are around you consistently we're talking about people who have access to you that's what i'm talking about that's what god is trying to do god is trying to remove access of people and i've been i it's it's such a warning there's someone who I've, I've been so disobedient. There's someone who is so jealous. Someone who already told me, I don't fuck with you. I would cheat on you. I don't I don't love you. Oh, I love you, but only, only the way I can love you, which is me manipulating you, me using you, me hurting you. Because fuck your feelings. God already told me, and here I am still messaging this person. How stupid must I be? Let them go. And I ha I've been trying my hardest, but still still there there's still some kind of like soul tie there there's still some kind of spiritual bond and you have to understand god's not going to bless you god's not going to give you something until you you're obedient and you stop texting certain people so that they don't have access to you they meant what they said they're not sorry they're not sorry and you have to understand these sinners are not sorry either so some of these people they're okay with their sin they're okay with it but you're not okay with sin and you're chosen, you're anointed, you have favor, you have somewhere to be. You're working for the kingdom of God, hallelujah. So yeah, don't find it strange when God is telling you that there's judgment is about to come. There's a storm coming, whether that's physical or spiritual, but God is trying to cut access. That's why you have to go. Holy Spirit, thank you, because I was like, all right, I'm just going to give one message. And like, I don't know what that message is, just you got to go. You got to move. And like, there was so much insight there. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It's time to go. It's time to stop talking to certain people. It's time to put the kingdom of God first. God knows that you have such a beautiful heart. God knows that you give the shirt off your back time and time again. God knows you. Amen. God knows you. I need to say that. God knows you. 
And because God knows you, amen, just how I get my angels and just how it came to pass, I'm that angel telling you that it's time to cut off access to people who you know, they've already, they've already shown their hand. They've already told you how they felt about you. They look at you as an opportunity. They look at you as a come up without bringing anything to your table. They don't support you in any type of way. You've asked these people for help, not even financial help. I need to say that to you, hallelujah. Not even financial help. Sometimes it's like, hey, I need just help studying. Hey, I just need someone to attend my 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 uh, my course real, real fast. You know, it's better if someone's on the other side of the screen so it's not just like a dead recording. Like, you know, there's actually some life to it. No. They don't, they don't fuck with you. They don't support you. Nah. 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 Just no. God has already told... These people have already showed you their hand. They're not, they're not happy when you get a new car. They're not happy when you get a new house. They're not happy that you're saving up to, to do better things. They're not, they're not happy blah, blah, blah. You have to understand, some people have already made so many bad decisions. And because you live righteously, I don't know, you're good, you have good credit. You have good opportunities. You have a lot of things lined up for you. Well, how is it my fault that I sacrificed? It was hard work. I can't even believe I'm a little over 30 and my back is already fucking ugh. And I'm like, God, I have to do this for another 30 years? <laughs> you have to understand, some of these people... They, they, their back is hurting. Their back is hurting and they see you not, not lifting a finger or working as hard. Or they see your blessings coming in. And I'm like, I already did my part. In my 20s, I busted my ass. Like, there is no one to tell me that I did not work super hard. Because I know I did. There's no one who isn't going to tell me that Joanny didn't clean up shit for three years, four years, as she was like a CNA, uh, you know, going to college at the same time, right? Like cleaning up old people and, and kids and and all this stuff no 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 joanny worked hard for hers joanny joined the military joanny went to school joanny stayed in the library joanny stayed out of trouble joanny paid her bills all the time joanny would always have spreadsheets of like how much money was made or like you know how many points do we have so we could take a break or whatever you did all the right things and you have to understand there's people around you who did all the wrong things. You need to be careful of those people. It's that time. Hallelujah. It is that time. It is that time where God is trying to elevate you. They made their choice. They made their choice that they don't support you. They made their choice that they they don't want the hard work to be there. They don't want the sacrifice. They they just want they just want it. They just want to receive it and they want to they want to they want your spot. They don't want you to have it. So what makes you think what makes you think that they wouldn't throw a stone in your way? What makes you think that they wouldn't, that, that when, when it's getting hot for them, what did I say? This person would use it as pity. Oh, this happened in my life because I'm attached to this person. Bitch, you put me here. That's how, that's how serious it's going to be. God needs you. God needs you to pack up your stuff, chosen one, and go. Now, if you have kids, and this is, the, if you have kids, how does this work when you have kids? And you have a family and you have to move like that because you're like, wait, you're speaking everything I, I, I'm i going through. But like, I have a family. I have kids. Like, what the f what am I supposed to do? You need a t you need you need a I don't want to say like an excuse, but you need to make it make sense. Right. Like, hey, we moved here to give your child better access to better schools. We moved here so that I could be closer to work. You know, I transferred and now I have more time with my family. So whatever, however you have to finesse it. Amen. We we're, we moved, look at that. It says child care. Amen. We moved here because I have better access to child care. This child care gives more hours so that I could work more. I don't care how you have to finesse it. Just know that when God says it's time to go, it's not because you did something wrong. No, it's because God's trying to protect you. God's trying to protect you from those who, who have done wrong. Those who look at you as, as a scapegoat. And you know, here's the crazy thing. What did I say? What did Holy Spirit say? Holy Spirit said, if I could throw that person under the bus, they're going to be fine. God's not going to let anything happen to them. Because they can't come, they can't come face to face with, with whatever they've done. Judgment. Judgment. Joanny's going to be alright. When they look at all of Joanny's records, Joanny's... 
Johnny doesn't do anything wrong. Literally, Johnny just, she's so fucking boring. She just sits on the computer all day and studies and tries to find out how she can get into it, another Ivy League school and, and how she can make another business and how she could sell that business. Johnny does nothing wrong. I'm talking to someone who's like that. Like, you mind your own business. You have your hobbies. Like, you're, you're not out there breaking the rules. You're not out there scheming and plotting. So you have to understand that there's someone around you. And here's the thing. You don't know people. You don't know people. You don't know how desperate people are. And God's trying to protect you. So when God says it's time to cut off access or it's time to go, you got to choose you got to choose your battle. You got to choose your battle. For me it was you got to pack up and go, "What? No, Lord. What? No, this this mansion's beautiful. There's no there's no go." Oh shit. You're not kidding. And guess what? God, God will orchestrate it. Like, okay, I have, I have a work event that I can go to here. So that it doesn't look like you're just packing your bags and, and moving out of delusion. No, finesse it. Finesse it. Hallelujah. Finesse it. What are we doing? What does God do for you? We step from gl glory to glory to glory. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We step from what? From glory to glory to glory. So if that means that I got to pack my shit up and I got to go step to another place of glory, I will do that in His mighty name. Amen. Don't let no one tell you you're tripping. Don't let no one tell you you're on something. Don't let anyone know. I'm doing this for what? For the kingdom of God. For what he has given me. Amen. Finesse it however you need to. Because it's only going to work out for your good. All the time. And these devils are going to be like, oh my God. Oh, shut the fuck up. It's not for you. You don't live a prosperous life. You don't live for the king. So you think he's going to make you travel? You think he's going to prosper? You think he's going to send you of all people to go to go help an angel? To go pull them out of the pit? Fuck no. Sit your ass down. I don't know what you need to tell to someone, but it's going to hurt them. And here's the thing. Joanne's getting to a point where I'm willing to tell you the truth. And if you kill yourself, that's on you. That's your judgment. That's what you reaped. That's the evil you caused because I was not sent onto you. I know who God is sending me to. The word was never for you. You need to start checking people. Because guess what? When you start cutting off access to people, that's when all the drama and all the warfare started. Once you start cutting off people, that's when all the warfare will start. Oh, you think, oh, oh, you think you're so, oh, you think you don't need me? You think I was here for all these years of your life? What the fuck? I haven't seen you in seven years. What makes you think you have any dominion? You have any say so in anything I've done? Anything I've sacrificed in the past seven to ten years? Nothing. There's people who feel so entitled to you. It's time to cut. You got. You have two decisions. You either cut off access, and you guess what? You better stick to it. And there's some people who'd be like, "Hey, it really hurt me that you cut me off." It was just that season where I had. I got to go find some new people. It's that season where, like, nah, we already had our time. It's that season where I got to go get what's mine and what what God has for me. Amen. There's seasons to everything. We ain't married. We don't have a covenant together. So who do you think you is? You're going to have to learn to put people in their place. You make a decision. It's one thing sometimes. It's easier sometimes when you pack up your bags and you go. Oh, they understood. It's a very like a carnal way of like, oh, yeah, this person move and blah, blah, blah. It hurts so much more when you're down the street and like, nah, this is a spiritual judgment. This is a spiritual wake up. God said, I got to go. Oh, but you're still down the street. Yeah, but I left. I left you in my mind a long time ago. Hallelujah. I don't know who that's for. For me, it was very carnal. You got to get up and move. Some of these people, when, when it comes to Joanne, they would never understand that. Johnny, if Johnny, if Johnny was down the street and she stopped talking to you, it would hurt you so much more. You would take it so much more personal. And guess what? Johnny's beautiful. Johnny's chosen. Johnny preaches the gospel. What makes you think that you're going to block me from preaching the gospel? What makes you think God's going to allow that? You're going to stop his messages getting to his people, to his angels. No. So yeah, understand that sometimes God is going to need you. There's some people who can't put two and two together. And they're going to take it so personal. It's, it, it, it's almost like it makes the band-aid just that much easier to take off. When you pack up and go like, oh, they're not here anymore. Oh, their absence is truly felt. Blah, blah, blah. But you've you, you been left. 
they've been a nuisance in your mind for a long time they're, they're not producing anything of they're, they're gossipers and what does gossip gossip do it, it thwarts reality gossip takes something that never was and tries to turn it into something that is and it's false it's gossip it's slander it's evil there's someone who's living a very sinful life around you and you, you either you might not even know this person or you don't know this person as well as you think you know them and god is trying to protect you all right so be obedient if this is your word take it back to god like i said most chances this is not your first time hearing it it's time to go it's time to pack up and move in jesus name all right so may the holy spirit lead you may father god guide you to his everlasting destiny heaven and peace for your life all right i love you angel bye-bye